The recent announcement that the BRICS nations are considering the creation of the new international currency has sparked widespread interest and speculation. One of the most intriguing aspects of this proposal is the potential choice of Hausa as the official language of Nigeria. On the currency, the Nigeria was not written in English, rather in Hausa. It was written Jamhuriyat Tarian Nigeria, meaning the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigerians have already started speaking against and for the inscription, like the former presidential aide Bashir Ahmad said. So glad to see Hausa language proudly representing Nigeria, Jamhuriyat Tarian Nigeria alongside the Nigerian plug, which is prominently positioned within the yet-to-be-officially-unveiled BRICS currency. There are so many other Nigerians that are against this representation, saying that Nigeria has over 500 languages. Why select only one of them? This decision, if confirmed, will have significant implications for Nigeria's linguistic landscape and its position within the global economic order. Now, let's look at the potential factors influencing the big choice of Hausa. First is economic and political influence. Hausa is one of the most widely spoken languages in West Africa, with millions of native speakers across Nigeria, Niger, and other countries. It is prevalence in the region with significant economic potential may have influenced BRICS decision. <coughs> By adopting Hausa, the new currency could potentially gain wider acceptance and circulation in the region. If we look at the historical ties, <laughs> Nigeria has a long history of cultural and economic ties with other West African nations. The choice of Hausa may reflect a desire to strengthen those connections and position Nigeria as a regional economic powerhouse. By looking at the linguistic diversity, Nigeria is a linguistically diverse nation with hundreds of languages spoken within its borders. By selecting Hausa, the BRICS may be seeking to balance the interests of the different language groups and promote national unity. In terms of global reach, Hausa is also spoken in parts of North Africa and the Middle East. The choice of this language could potentially expand the reach and influence of the new BRICS currency beyond Africa. This decision, if confirmed, will not go without other implications. For example, it will <coughs> going to have linguistic challenges. The adoption of the Hausa may pose challenges to non-Hausa speakers, particularly in rural areas. And political implications. The decision could have political ramifications potentially affecting the balance of power between different language groups within Nigeria. In conclusion, while the BRICS decision to adopt Hausa as one of the official languages remains unconfirmed, the potential factors influencing this choice are intriguing. If confirmed, this decision could have significant implications for Nigeria's economy culture and politics. Do you think these factors are enough for justification to adopt Hausa to represent Nigerian languages in the BRICS currency? Let's discuss this in the comment section.